everybody and welcome back uh, to the Sunward Isles. Ba -dum, ba -dum, bum 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 Okay, so we did a little bit of farming, just a teeny tiny bit. And now, I believe our plan is relatively simple. So we were going to do all of the spider quests. However, I lost some of the characters that I wanted to do on that. And so I kind of just got a little bit salty. So I think we're going to do a nightmare mission. And uh, <laughs> and you know what? After the nightmare mission, we will go ahead and continue on our real plan. But for the moment, here's how we're doing. We have two level fours, a single level two. Absolutely everyone. Well, hang on. So our level fives actually just fit on one screen now. Uh, there's no one below. There's no one above. It is just... We actually are almost done with level fives. And then everybody else is level six. So overall, we are doing extraordinarily well. But we are going to go on a nightmare mission. We're just going to see how it goes. And I know you guys have been missing her quite a bit. So we're going to bring out the dragon, the dragon blood. I know you guys have been missing her. I know. So she's going to get a little bit of time in the spotlight. So, I'm thinking of going to the ruins. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to go to the ruins. Technically, we could go to the Sunward Isles, although there's no nightmare mission, so meh. Uh, we could go to the Weald, but I don't really want to run into a thing from the stars there. And the... Uh, the storm is raging in the Warrens. So, you know, it's, it, yeah, I think I'd rather just go to the ruins and just chance running into a prophet or chance running into a necromancer. So this is going to be a little bit of a weirder episode. Um, I'm kind of short on time. So uh, I have a couple videos that are almost ready. However, none, all of them require a bit more editing. So I think what we're going to do is we're just gonna play it you know a little easy um i've been super busy this week so that's the only reason why videos have been a little bit shorter and a little bit more spread out than normal i promise it's not going to be the case for much longer should be done relatively soon so here's what we've brought serona the dragon blood with the empowered crystal the anguish amulet and all of her abilities Zhao the Shao <laughs> with the Shambla's Eye, the lower boundary military order, all of her abilities. Brian the Shinobi with the Swine Prince Spike, the Storm Cloak, Binding Jutsu, Shuriken Toss, Kudagara, and Shadow Cloak. Before finishing with the most balanced of regen healers, Lindy the Grove Tender with Watermelon, Wilbur's Flag, Homie Strike, Laxification's Hug, Dilute Elixir, and Lantern's Console. Yes, you love to see it. So, uh, because of our farming, we do have, I think it's high infestation now, so our chance of running into some unwanted pests is decently high but we should be able to deal with them relatively easily um for one because serona is able to do a lot of bleed and for two because we just have a lot of damage on this team now we do open up with a surprise 35 percent damage more crit <sighs> debuff and stun resistance more accuracy more health and 20 percent protection okay Starting a little bit iffy, are we? Fire Dragon Slash, try and kill this. Or do we try and kill the witch? Try and kill the witch, that way we can prevent any uh, stress damage. I'm going to go for the Triple Blight, hopefully lower the resistance as well. Obviously he has the extra 40%, so it probably wasn't going to happen there. We're going to go for the best attack, 1 in 4. We hit the 1 in 4 and then immediately missed. Oh, you hate to see it. Okay, not doing a lot to our dear old dragon blood. Run for the old gods. Eldritch pull, do not, thank you. You love to see it. That extra 44 dodge coming into play. Okay. 
Uh, it was bound to happen sooner or later, wasn't it? Um, basically can't stun him. You know what? Stun the gargoyle. Lower. Ah, didn't debuff him. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so his debuffs are going away, unfortunately. Bleed here. Bam! That's what you like to see. You see, the power of the dragon blood is just. You don't want to mess with that. You, do, do you see those scales? Absolutely impenetrable. This dragon, just, it, it simply cannot be defeated. <laughs> uh, I laugh at the anime mods sometimes. Although, I'm, you know, as much as I want to say, you guys are like, you know, you miss the anime mods, you miss, for example, the dragon blood, you miss Lilith. I'm the one who ends up using them, so at the end of the day, it comes back onto me. So that's fine. I'm perfectly fine with being the waifu guy. That is simply the title that, funny enough, I didn't give myself. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, it's it's funny to think about because I'm like, oh yeah, people know me as the waifu guy. And while half of that is my fault, the other half is just like, because some viewers started calling me that and now that's just what I'm known as. But that's fine. I mean, I'm fine with it. Some other people might not be, but I'm fine with it. Okay, here we go. Boss time. Okay, I almost... Look, I, you, you know, there was a chance, right? There, there was a small chance. Destroyed. More protection. Uh, more health. Uh, really. Gargoyles with more protection, more health. That's, uh... That's fine. Don't stun. Ha-ha! You know what? Stun. Yeah! The cartwheel arms gets them 100% of the time. Okay. Eh, it won't do much. See? It was bound to do no damage. I knew it. You knew it. We all knew. We all knew it. Kick! Neither of them bled. What, are they made of stone or something? Keep that regen up. Zhao is actually taking Zhao, Shao. How do you pronounce that? It's actually taking a lot of damage. We do end up uh, dodging the lash of the tail. I'm just gonna go for the guaranteed kill here. I am the glorious heroic dragon on the battlefield, and he's not dead. He's dead now. <laughs> do what we gotta do. Alright, very good. Books are evil in this game. That's basically the only reason I don't interact with them. Nah. Because books, like, I don't know what it is about them, but they just have such a high chance of backfiring that I'm like, it's just not worth it. Like, you know, that maybe some people like them, the books, but eh, they just... They backfire so much that I'm just like, I just, I don't even really want to bother with them unless it's a forced curio, you know what I mean? Man. So, you guys warned me that the bosses were kind of low chance to spawn. Oh. But man, they are really low chance to spawn. 80%. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hey, the guard's pretty nice. Um, stun. Nice. Okay, now we're just gonna move all the way forward with Serona. They're all skeletons, so we can't necessarily bleed them. So that's fun. Let's recover a little bit of stress. And to the front. Nice. You love to see it. You love to be stunned by what you don't understand. Okay, we're fine. Alright. Two flat damage. I don't know where we got that exactly. Uh, actually, if we're doing two flat damage... Guaranteed kill. Didn't even stun. Okay. Well... Man, he's still not dead. Wow, he's resilient. Actually, what does he have? 
More crit, more dodge. Ah, well. That's not the worst thing on him. It could have been worse. It could have been protection and health. <laughs> uh, let's blight all three. They're all skellies, so it should land on all three of them, which it did. Wicked Surge on the stunned one. You love to see it. That is complete wasted value. Excellent. I'm the thing that goes bomb in the night. Axe Blade. Uh. Really? You're going to hit... <laughs> Zhao's face when you hit it with you when you hit her with that dollar store axe blade. <laughs> 45% protection on Zhao is basically going to mean that she is relatively untouchable. I'm going to go ahead and go for a heal here. It's also going to give us a little bit more healing received. I'm unable to hit the bone bearer. So we're just gonna make him take a little bit more damage. Very cool, very nice, and There's that extra 12 dodge. I had to say, oh, it could have been worse. Uh, literally bit my own. Or, what's the phrase? I don't know. <laughs> wow, this is a mess. I'm like, you know the bit that All right, he's down. And then keep ourselves stealth. We're now doing bonus damage. Should have done that from the start. Wow, I am really misplaying this episode, but you know what? That's okay. We're gonna go for the, um, the pounch as quickly as we can, because he is bleeding, thanks to the, uh, slash. Apparently that works on skellies. My flame will not burn your flesh, but incinerate your soul! That's nice job. There we go. Uh! Ah, we're fine. I'm kind of wondering if we'll um, run into a boss. Sort of doubting it. Yeah, sort of doubting it. Even with 35% protection, that is painful. Okay, he could have he could have guarded the um, bone bearer. All right, this should do a lot of damage. Plus six damage while stealth. We are stealth. Sure can toss. Six, two, and nine with a triple blight. Yeah, that's pretty good. Take out the bone bearer with the complete RNG attack. Uh, go through the guard. Yeah. Deal extra damage to guarded enemies. Did you know that? Well, you definitely do now. Dead weight. That's gonna be a stun. Yeah. Yeah, that, I don't think there was any avoiding that one. Ooh. Ah. Um, double blight. Nice. That's, that's doing a lot of damage, too, actually. Ugh. Okay, he'll be able to bleed, and then we can sucker punch him into non-existence. I'm gonna go for Lantern's Console to give us a little bit of torchlight. Even though we have plenty of torches left. Uh, yeah, you can never go wrong with saving a torch. Axe Blade. That's fine. Okay. Well, we managed to get through this relatively easily. He's dead. So... He is also dead. And we got the stun. You know what? I accept that. Let's give him a tail smack. Uh, eh. Are we too slow? Nah, we get the tail smack. Uh, and the stun. You love to see it. Give us a heal, just in case there's a boss. Bump, 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 bump. Nice. Man, we're not getting very lucky on the drops, are we? Yeah. It's not getting much better, is it? Well, yeah. we won't be debuffed. We'll be fine. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> this is what I've been waiting for. Okay. Honestly? I'm gonna go for the fuse. We could really use the gold. This is what I was kind of hoping we would see, though. Okay. Then we'll be able to do some pretty good AoE damage. In the name of Cetre, the god of wind and war, I will launch a fair duel against you. Actually. Stun? Dang it. I took a, <laughs> I took an educated guess, but man, am I bad at education. Okay, we get a little bit of blight. We should be fine. It's only two. Oh. Yeah, that's pain. Uh, yes, prophesized your end. How much damage will this do? 16? Wow, this just does a ton of damage, actually. Uh, Zhao's the one who's going to take the damage. Let's just keep doing what we can. Try to break the pews. That way we can get a ton of gold off of this. Keep going. Two of the pews almost down. One more regen. By the way, we actually still have a tiny chance to run into the Necromancer as well. Uh, yeah, we're fine. Double Ruin, 18. It's a good thing she has as much protection as she does. We'll be fine. One more AoE. <laughs> Man, that stealth damage! That is so good! Hit him. It had a chance to bleed the profit. That's the reason I went for that. Eh. Okay. Kill that one. That's one pew down. We could just replace the gold, honestly. Or we could replace this one jade. Either or. You know, it should be fine. He hasn't done a horror move to us yet, so I'm not going to use La uh, Lantern's console. He seems very keen on just hitting us with the Fulminate. Here's a Rebel of Ruin. Is that Death's Door? <laughs> Good thing we have that regen. Good thing that doesn't do damage. <sighs> okay. Start doing damage to him, and the pews are almost dead. We did land the blight on him, did not land the debuff. I'm gonna make him take a little bit more bleed damage. Um, regen for three turns, regen for two turns. I'm gonna dilute elixir here. That way he gets a little bit more healing. Um, point blank stab. That's one more down, one more to go, and then we can, I think, burst him down relatively easily. Actually, yeah, we can with Serona, for sure. He does get a double crit on us. He gets two blights. Could have been worse. There's the bleed. He's taking more damage. Rubble of Ruin. I think that's double death door. Okay, a little scary. We're fine, though. We're fine. See, the bad thing about regen, it's not instant heat. <clears throat> The bad thing about regen is that it is not instant healing. So, you yeah. know? Stun? Oh, there's no chance to stun. Eh, we do lower his resistance, though. Ah, uh, as much as I would love to just go for the kill on him, I want to get that pew. I want that gold. I think it's 2.5k for each pew. Um... Serona can take it. Yeah, Serona can take it. She'll be alright. Uh, regen on everybody. 35. There's that extra bleed damage. Fulminate. 57! Oh my. That increased damage taken. Ooh, my goodness. 160%. Okay, we got a death door and we're taking more damage. Jeez. Jeez. Ay ay ay! Prognostication! This spot, there's something not right about this spot. Yeah, we can end it right now. However, crit. Dang it. Um. Bleed? Yeah! Alright, he's dead. And we got all three pews. Uh. One more regen for good measure. 
and kaboom. So, Pew, we're going to replace the Jade. The Jade's like a joke. Profit bandages, friendly skill, cure, blight, and bleed. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. We'll take that. The Fool, 15% damage plus 5 dodge. Um, replace the gold. And the blueprint, replace the other gold. Yeah, that seems pretty good to me. Now we just have to hope we don't run into the Necromancer. Or you know what? Bring him on. Bring on the Necromancer. Scout. You know what? Bring him on. That's... Okay. Bring him to us. Okay, well. We didn't end up encountering him, but that's okay. Uh, replace the bandages, replace the... Yeah. Okay, well. That's pretty good. 14.2k gold. We got four busts, six uh, portraits, and eight crests. We also got the Book of Sanity, which is pretty cool. Nobody leveled up, obviously. They're already level six. Graceless? Oh, that's gotta go. Unyielding? Okay. Hashimoto's disease? No. Weak point lecture. Not the best idea. Now everyone is trying to do fancy stuff. A crit buff that lasts three quests. However, minus 15% damage. Oh. <laughs> Not amazing. Hashimoto, get rid of that. I'm getting rid of Graceless. Forget that. There we go. Uh, did, what did you get? Claustrophobia, cleanliness, risk taker, compulsive. Eh. Those all actually are pretty fitting. Let's get rid of clumsy. And honestly? Do we lock in faded? I think we do. You know what? There's going to come a time where Faded is going to save our life. And you guys are going to be like, look at Shadow, he's so stupid. Why would he ever do that? <laughs> That's a dumb idea. And then we're going to get our life saved. And you're going to be like, oh my goodness, Shadow is the most smart dude I've ever encountered. What is this? Helm of the Weakness. On attack hit. 100% base chance to minus 20% damage, minus 8 speed, minus 4 speed, minus... Wait, minus 8 dodge, minus 4 speed, minus 10 accuracy. 30k gold. Um, yeah, yeah, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yep, 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 that sounds good. Obituary, rage, remove the stun effect. Interesting. Okay. So I actually want to upgrade the town a little bit. We have one blueprint. Man, what do we use it on? Ah, uh, we could use maybe on the tavern? Let's see. Reduce treatment cost, increase the number to three. Uh, I don't know if those are worth a blueprint. Increase the, cha nah, increase the chance to cure an affliction. 50% chance. Now we're kind of talking. Let's see. A hundred percent chance. Mmm, now we're kind of talking. You know what? You convinced me. You convinced me. One hundred percent chance to cure afflictions. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, and if we can get one more blueprint, which we're going to, we get a sh more shards every 20 weeks. So we'll be getting a lot more stuff from our minions. So, I know this episode's a little bit of a mess, but um, I wanted to get something upload to both show you the progress we made here, of which there is a lot of good progress. We're almost exclusively level 6 now. We don't have many level 5s to go. Two level 4s, one level 3. Unfortunately, we did lose a couple of people. Obviously, we lost Bridget, which I was trying to get back by fighting the Yama, but it didn't quite work. Um... 
Hanzo got destroyed, Annabelle unfortunately got destroyed, and we did lose Shinobi Fan, so we lost uh, level 3 and a level 4, but I think we'll be able to get it back. My only issue is they uh, they have really good stuff, um, like Sunward Tactician, obviously, solid. Daredevil on this character, very, very good. Hippocratic is also pretty good, and Unyielding is pretty good, so that sucks. Bridget, of course, had Hakutaku's Wisdom, although she didn't actually get many other, like, really good things. She does have Cursed Blade, which does, I think it's like 10% damage or something, I don't remember. But, um, yeah, so, losing those characters, super, super sucky. And then we did lose Hanzo, who does have, um, Faded, which, considering he has sort of low base accuracy, Faded is actually, like, really solid. But yeah, I know this is a little bit of a weird episode, but I promise 300% here is the plan in the next episode. By the way, it's going to be like a two-hour video, so, you know, just prepare yourselves. For the big boy spiders, we're going to go to a Sunward Nightmare mission, if it ever shows up. And then we... Okay, hang on. Bad order. We're going to do this quest at the Warrens because we want the Helm of Weakness. Then we're going to go for the spiders. Then we might go for the hag. We'll see. Then we'll go to Sunward Isles if it has a nightmare mission. And then maybe we'll do a little bit of the Countess quest. That's what we're going to do in the next episode. So because this episode is so short, that episode is going to be like two, three hours. So... If you wanted a long episode of Darkest Dungeon, you're gonna get it as a little apology. But for the moment, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being so patient. A uh, little bit of an awkward time right now, but it will get easier. And it basically is already in the process of getting easier and better anyway, so. So, thank you guys for spending so much time with me. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in that long episode next time. Bye.